Our streets of Tarkov runs were fun. But it's time to get to work on some tasks. Are you ready? What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to episode two, season eight of Ragnar Riches. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we're heading out and working on our first couple tasks that we have at the beginning, and it uh, should be a good one. We have a couple ideas how we're going to get some stuff done, so let's let's try to get right into it. I want to get introduction done today. Go and get the letter and turn that into Mr. Mechanic over here. Uh, obviously, probably not going to work on part one gunsmith. However, we're going to also try and do shortage and get the three sale was. Uh, that's probably the two main ones I'm going to focus on. Debut, just kind of get lucky on the MP133 shotguns and hopefully we get them. We'll have to see. But for now, shortage and also introduction we're going to be working on today. Uh, as far as what we're going to bring, pretty much going to bring the same setup that we left with last episode. Uh, I'm going to unload this. Uh, I did grab some ammo. didn't have a lot of dollars, but we could always buy some more if we needed. But this is pretty much our setup we're going to go with. Uh, I am going to bring a couple things. I'm going to bring the squash and I think I'm going to buy water as well. Yeah, we're going to bring those two with us. Um, I think the first map today, we're going to head over to woods and go get introduction first done. Also, if we get lucky to spawn by like the USEC camp, we can check the medical supplies over there. Or if we get lucky and spawn over by the encampment, over by the um, by the other side of the map, we could also check there for some of the sailor was as well. Uh, beyond that, if we don't find what we need there, uh, we'll probably either check out customs or we may go look at some other maps too. Um, even streets are target because I know there's actually a couple of medical spawns that we we actually missed. So we'll maybe look at doing that as well. So a couple of different options we got for us, but for right now, we're gonna start with woods and head over there and see what we can make happen. So without further ado, let's repair this body armor. Let's head over to woods and let's get these tasks started. Are you ready? Okay, where do we spawn? Oh, we spawn right to the village, okay. So technically, no, we didn't get the best spawn to where we were trying to go. That's fine though. Uh, we're gonna go. We're gonna go ahead and get the letter first, and then we'll worry about doing all the other stuff afterwards. Just move on from there. The original plan was actually get a PSO scope and put it on the AK-74M that I had, but sadly we didn't have the chance to do it because we all balled out. But not a huge deal. We will definitely keep an eye out for that because it's a very, very strong weapon at the beginning of the fight. Just like stupidly strong. But it is what it is. We can move on and hopefully get it next time. But I want to try to get this letter as soon as possible. And then pretty much just kind of skirt towards it. Because I look at the, the spawns that we start at. Obviously, you've got the USAC camp over there. We have a chance, a chance for the medical stuff. we got the village over to our left. But I don't know. There's not much a, a huge amount of difference of what you can get in the middle. So might as well just go get that done. I'm guessing outskirts. Yeah, outskirts is going to be our exit. So... It's going to be kind of a, a weird, like, going left and back to the right. So we shall, we shall see. Maybe we'll also go check out the purple uh, purple card building. That's over at the lumber mill. See if there's a chance we get the card there. I don't think we've ever, in eight seasons, I don't think we've actually ever found a card standalone. So maybe we'll get lucky this season. You never know. There is some stuff up top, though, I can actually loot. Let me go check that first. So if I can get myself, like... Say a gas analyzer because I know there's like a, a crate or two up there. That'd be kind of cool. Might as well do it since we're heading this direction anyway. Just watch out for anybody that may be coming our way. Also, huge shout out to you guys for all the support on episode one. It was exactly 22 hours and I think it was like 22 hours and like 30 minutes. We had hit our goal of 2,000 likes and we're at 21,000 views. So. Y'all killed it, so thank you so much for the support on that one. We're gonna obviously keep pushing, keep pushing on and see if we can, you know, keep that going for the, the momentum with the rest of the, the white boom. I'm gonna take that for now, because we don't have a lot on us, but if we need some fuel early on, especially those large ones, the hideout will be actually really nice. That's another thing I'm gonna start focusing on too, is the, the hideout. Try to get as much as we possibly can with that, which means a lot of screw nuts, a lot of screws, a bunch of other stuff. They're just a consistently keep grabbing, which, hey, with the paths that we got to take uh, in this uh, a new season, we got a lot of chance to do that, and we're going to make it happen. 
Those things are selling for like crazy expensive. Uh, I'm sure as all of you all do, you watch the, the big streams go on and notice how many people are already at the flea market and we'll compete. Some of the stuff goes for like 100,000 still each. So <laughs> we're going to get there. But for now, our focus on is getting these tasks started. Now, I could check out the FOB, the FOB that's up there, and maybe have a chance for the medical supplies, but obviously we'll respawn. There's pro most likely going to be two or three groups will respawn there, so. We're kind of pushing ourselves and putting ourselves in the middle of everyone. But hey, maybe I can make something happen. I am weren't working with Worge, though. Or, uh, so it's not the best at all. <laughs> we pretty much working with what we got, right? Early on, I, do, I I have to say though, I am actually very like happy that they took out the the really good ammo at the beginning. Like, I should say really good ammo, but like PS rounds were like seven six two. Like obviously you got those right away, and they were very strong to fight people. And the fact that people don't have access to that stuff now, it's uh, I don't know, brings a new dy dynamic to the game. Obviously we're on day two, so a lot of people got access to other weapons, so and a lot of different ammo too. So it's just kind of. Um, you, you, like, you get the people that are straggling behind, kind of like us, and then you got, well, people that have got a little more time than us to play the game, got some crazy stuff, so. Maybe we'll get a chance to come up behind one of those guys and take them out. Alright, we got the letter. That was step number one. Which, honestly, I'm kind of okay with calling it that there. However, doesn't mean I won't take a second to go look at this FOB. You don't know what I'm saying. I'm saying forward operating base. That's what they kind of call these things. At least that's, that's at least that's what we've always called them. My friends and I. So that's what I usually go with. I don't have any eyes on anything? If I were to leave with just a letter, I'd be completely fine with that, because we can always jump back into another raid. However... If I can... Sneak in there, and get ourselves a little look on some of the stuff, might as well, right? Let's go give it a look. I also noticed, too, that they took away the gas block from Mechanic Level 1. So I couldn't, uh, I couldn't trip out the gun like I really wanted to. I originally wanted to take the front gas block out and put the the other one for mechanic in. Uh, that's definitely not going to happen. Definitely some big changes that they made, which, you know, I can't really, really be mad about. I mean, it definitely makes the gameplay way different than what I'm used to. So, I know I catch you can't make the jump. I just realized that. Yeah, shots coming in from behind, so we gotta kind of make this quick. Searching seems kind of slower, too. Get some herring. Kind of check all the medical supplies. I do need all these. Take that. That sell a lot too, but we also need it as well. Again, if I need to, I will drop the fuel. I'm just going to carry it for the time being. We don't necessarily need fuel right away. Don't see any other medical. There's one other spot inside the, the base here. Morphine. Got some more tech loop. Yeah, gasoline, I'm guessing? Nope. Hey, I'll take a hose. Do you feel we need that? Um. Whoops, let me drop that. I'm going to drop the fuel for now. Probably a good idea. Keep a little more space open for some other stuff that can become more useful. I 
I know there's a chance for medical in here. Check the bodies. Actually, these, I think the cats are faster than the S-marches, so I'll take that one instead. One last medical spot. We call it good. See that? I hear the scabs, but I don't see them. Nope, don't need any of that. Meds. Got some new stuff, too. Chocolate. I don't necessarily need a chocolate. I know it's like a tray later on, but we're nowhere close needing that stuff. Medical tools, soap. Let's grab what I can. Ooh, that's really good. I think this is the medic one. Oh, no, actually, no, this is the wrong toothpaste. We can drop that one. That's the wrong toothpaste. Maybe we'll get the, the right one here. Doesn't look like it. Uh, eat up and we'll get that syringe. Give me that syringe. Okay. Sadly, no sale was. I know, I, I know there's somebody in the comments will tell me I'm saying that name wrong, but I've always called it Selua, so we're going to call it Selua's. Um, we know Selua was, but a ton of all the medical stuff, and I'm completely fine with getting out with this. Because we need syringes anyway, we need the soap and a bunch of other stuff to make the laboratory, so. If I can get that stuff out now, at least we'll have partial of what we need, which would be nice. I think I passed the car, I think the car is back there, the ones in the water, but no big deal. So we get the introduction done, move on from there. Also, we could go to reserve too. Reserve's not a is obviously not a bad one. I've done reserve a few times at the beginning of wipes to get mimic supplies and it's worked out in a decent amount of times. So I may try that. But obviously, like go into customs, go into the uh the crack house. That's always usually the number one bet to get your items you need. But then again, of course, you're also running a chance of running into a ton of people. Oh, huh? We'll play by ear for now. If we can get another run like that, medical supplies. Yeah, I mean, shoot. Woods is the place to go for right now. Let's get across here before we even say anything. There we go. A couple more spaces for loot that I want to check on the way to the exit. Because there is the, like the dead scab with a bag over here. So we'll check that one too. the water get that metabolism up the faster, faster we can the more we have to worry about it I love it got people shooting in front especially early on tasks I try to avoid fighting just because just it's kind of pointless to fight players right away Perhaps I don't have the, ammo, the best ammo to fight people but I avoid players early on, at least I can get some tasks done, but not always avoidable, of course. I'm gonna run into people once in a while. But, as I've always asked in the past, how are you guys' experiences going so far on uh, on the first couple days of the wipe? You got anything crazy? You got anything cool? I always tell everyone, too. Uh, don't forget, if you do find something really awesome, you like, you know, you're one of those people who like to show things off, which is completely fine. Uh, we do have the Discord, which under the Discord, there's also a section that says PMC raids, scab raids. So, you know, if you find stuff that really cool during those your raids, you can post them there. I do like to see what you guys get, because sometimes there's some really awesome stuff. Got a battery, and we got some ammo. Okay. We got, we got another hose, which is completely fine. Saves me... What the heck?
Is there just no sound of that? What the? Shots of me I didn't even see. That plane was completely silent, dropping into that care package. That dude's got like a perfect shot shooting through a wall. Not like that. Yeah, so, uh, guys, I'm gonna be honest with you, I think I'm calling BS on this one. What the heck? That like dude is perfectly shooting through a, a tree right there. It's kind of sus, a little bit. I don't know about you, but I, that was a little sus. I was, I was like, all right, we can turn around and fight this guy. I think we'll be fine. That seemed a little sus. What is he shooting me with? PS five uh, five four five. Okay, I don't know. I had I had to get out of there. I was like, well, okay, this doesn't seem right. <laughs> you can call me what you like in the comment section, but that seemed very sus. Considering he was he was shooting me like in the open, obviously, but then he started shooting me when I was behind the hill. So that was that was sketchy as heck. All right, let's get all the stuff offloaded. I, don't, I honestly don't I don't even know how to, to take that. That seemed very strange to me, but no big deal. We'll move forward. We got some good stuff too. A lot of good items for some tasks we got coming up. Uh, we'll drop that one off. I think we'll keep all that. Actually, let's take this. Take that. And then let's also bring some extra bandages in case. And extra AI, uh, AI too. Especially enough, I got enough for food. I got the drink, I got the food. Good there. Ammo still looking good. I obviously didn't really use much of it. Got to repair the armor again though. Get that a quick repair. Mechanic, I have a task to turn to you. Introduction. Good to go there. Maybe that's a bug or something because I feel like like there should be a ton of sound coming from the <laughs> from from the plane. Maybe that's just a weird bug. I right, turn one of those. Turn one of them. Okay. Oh, shoot. I should have grabbed that can of stew. I knew I was going to grab that for a reason, but I was like, eh, leave it. No, we do. We can finish this up easily. Get some, get a bunch of food from there. Oh, a lot of things I got to examine. Now there is, however, where's the trade? Actually, they're not even found in raids. Just got to find them. You were stuck in 11 minutes. Can I finish a raid in 11 minutes to be back here? That's the true question. Probably not. <laughs> Probably not, but it's no big deal. What ammo do we got for you? It's not going to be anything good, obviously, because you're still level one, just like the others. It's going to take a look at some of them. Okay, yeah, I'm not too worried about it. We're just going to leave it for what it is right now. Okay, now we got to think. Where do we want to go next? we got a couple places we can go. I don't want to do streets right now. Go customs, we could go reserve. Even lighthouse wouldn't be bad either. Shoreline, I can get a couple good um, places for medical supplies as well. I think for now, why don't we? Why don't we head to reserve? And I'm gonna try something here. I'm gonna test something here. I'm gonna take the backpack off. I'm gonna bring in just this guy here. And we're going to go see about hitting up the medical supply first. And then if we do find what we need, we're going to go over to the manhole exit and get out from there. Quick and easy raid. Just grab what we need. We'll probably end up dropping some of the stuff if we find anything like decently better than what we're looking for. We got enough spots for what we need here. Yeah, we'll call it good from there. If not, I think we're going to head to customs after that and see what we can get. And everything's so good. Medical's all set. All right. Let's head over to reserve and see if we can find some medical. All right, we're in. Ooh, we got a good spawn for it too. All right. 
We've done this before in the past. We're going to go to the medical building literally in front of us here. And see if we can find any sailor was. There's also some down below. And that's pretty much it. If there's nothing there, then I'm probably going to go search some filing cabinets in the black building. In the black, uh, black night building. These are kind of the only two tasks that I really had in mind will come to this map. And of course, if that doesn't work and all else fails obviously we can head right over to customs and try to find some stuff there but these are like the places i like to go first because obviously these are meant for to be the medical spots have i not oh well that's new that's a new uh, injector okay Nothing there Around. Do this quickly because I'm sure I'm not the only one that's looking for medical supplies. Looking in, looking in the ground. Check this and then we'll head to the second floor. Ooh, nice. Okay. Oh! Number one. Can't leave too too early because if obviously if I leave too too early, then I'm gonna get the um, out of raid thing. So that's the problem as well. Or not enough for that speed, I should say. Got another cat. Actually, we can drop that. We have the cat. Get the ground there. I think that was it. I don't have the key for obviously this room, so I'm rip that. Or the other medical room. There's actually two medical rooms in these areas. Grounds. Nothing yeah, nothing's here. Okay. We got one more medical area and then we can get the heck out. We're only about three minutes in, so we do have to wait a little bit. That's why I'm trying to get a little bit of XP while we're walking around here. Check down below, nothing there. Nothing in. He must up. Uh, let's drop medical badge, uh, not medical badge, the bandage. Ooh, okay. I'm going to drop that. Put the bandage there. Whoop, whoop. Bandage there, and then we'll take this. No, that's completely opposite of what I wanted. It did the same thing again. Four. There we go. Four, five. Okay. Drop the bandage. Just make sure I didn't miss anything else on the ground. I believe that's everything. There is an intel spawn here, too, so we can check that real quick. Wouldn't mind having a chance to find that. Vodka? No vodka. Apparently it's a good thing to have. I'm also just trying to collect as much XP as possible. So I don't get, um... So I don't even get the, uh, I forget what they call it. Missing on the raid, basically. No intel there. Okay. It's a pressor. This is one of the times I wish I would have had the backpack, but at the same time, like, I had the plan in mind of what I wanted to do anyway. And I feel like it'd just be pointless if I would have brought one. Check this room while we're over here. Trying to be very, very quiet and listen for anybody coming near. Let's get all the XP. Whoop! 
Wrong button. Yes, ammo. Dust pop. Dust pop. My bad. There's Vector. What do you got? T ammo. I really should sort of start grabbing all the all the different random ammos though. Especially if it's gonna be like this where we don't get good ammo for a while there. <laughs> it would not be a bad idea to start grabbing that. Could be a weapon here. Hey, weapon I could sell. Search a little bit on the Black Knight spot for a minute. There sounds like the shooting is to my left and like past the White Knight. So we can do a little bit of searching for just a second. Now that I know I can find the gas analyzer in the drawers, I am actually checking them. Because for a while, there's, I think last season, they didn't have them in there. So, I do want to give it a quick look over. Just in case. ES lamp. I do need to start collecting those. I'm sacrificing some of these things for the great to good. Where are these? Oh, those are leads, though. Um... To buy the ammo back, take the elite players. Because obviously, there's another way that we can get the, the shotguns if we have to. The rooster. Well, I'm not going to get that rooster anytime soon. Getting any keys though. Sucks. Sucks not seeing any keys. Got nails, screws, different stuff for building stuff, but right now, like I said, I'm just focusing on getting out with the sale walk. Alright, we'll head over to the next building because I know there's a computer we can check too, maybe for a graphics card or something. And yeah, we can move from there. We're gonna get here. A drill, huh? Some ammo on the ground there. Actually, there may be. There may be S and B. Let's check that quick, actually. Nope, PS ammo. Uh, however, wouldn't be the worst thing to actually grab. Up on the cats. PS ammo is a little more rare to find other than killing scabs, so. We should grab it. Come on, graphics card. Come on. Right here. Nope. <laughs> That's going to be a PSU, probably. Yep. PSU. Nothing else here that I know of. Kind of weird these haven't been searched. More nails. Are you guys also struggling to find? Ooh. Goodbye, vodka. RBOP is going to be now mine. I don't know if that's actually a good one or not. I'll have to go look at the map of um, Reserve again. It's Deshanka. And oh, honestly, too, coming back and checking out. I don't need sugar, but I'll at least examine it. Coming coming back and doing the, the food route as well would not be but such a bad idea. Because, like, the, the amount of boxes that you can get with chance for different foods, it would actually make, probably push everything faster to get the items we need to finish that first Jaeger task. 
I think we're good though. Let's call it there. Just not get shot. All right, my bad. Got out with some stuff. I don't think we're gonna get any issues here. Oh yeah, we're completely fine. Nice. All right, I just decided to go right back in considering we didn't find anything, so. Figured might as well just go right back in. I mean, we found stuff, but we're not enough to turn to a task, I should say. So, I just put everything away and we jump right back in. Plus, this is a really good spot for this. I forgot how close this is. Uh, I did bring a backpack. I got a, a sling. Just a sling backpack. For the off chance that, you know, we find so many good things that we just want to try to get out with it. Your rest. I feel like I found that before? That's weird. Anywho. Got morphine. Apparently, I have to check this now because there may be a hidden thing inside. Ooh, hey, look at that. GP coin. I'll take that. Yo, duffel bags? They're like. I don't know. They're just like the hidden place for loot, it seems. Just finding things that like, I wouldn't normally look for inside of them. They're the real MVP here. Brown. Hemostat. Nice. Got that for sure. And then grab that. I guess after we do finish this, we go we'll go look at the foods food spawns. Since I am working on the Jaeger task as well. Take a good look over on all this stuff. Sure. Oh, there's a cat. I can replace the one that I lost. For the time being, I'm probably going to end up throwing it away because I'm going to find something better, but that's okay. Hmm. An IFAC. I'll take that. Nothing, nothing in the shelving. Another cat in the ground. Don't need that. For now, we'll grab it. Okay, that was a, we got through that a lot faster than expected. So let's go downstairs and then we'll jump over and check the food loop. See if we can find. I need to find the cans of beef stew and also the croutons. Lunch boxes I'm not worried about. Lunch boxes are super easy to find. They can just go to interchange and literally find those in two crates and call good. How I didn't kill the one guy at the beginning, I do not know. How did that first guy not die? I must have hit his armor a lot or something. That's that's surprising. I swear I shot him right in the head. That's why I stopped shooting because I shot him three times in the head and I figured he was dead. Moved on to the second one. Huh. Well, that's Tarkov look for you. <laughs> I, uh, I'm surprised that guy was still standing. Oh, well. Let's get geared back up. Luckily, I didn't have the big backpack on me, so it's not a huge deal. I uh, got that. Read the SKS. Grab that. Unload this, actually. Unload the ammo. Oh, no. It's all PS runs, actually. No, we're good. Armor. I can buy some more armor. Buy that. I could. I was going to think about buying this, but I want to save a little bit of the money we got. I need it for medical supplies too. My tudos. Tudos. Oh, I still have that bandage on me? Did I put it in there? No, I took it off. It's all right. I can sell the GP coin real quick. Need this for the time being. Um. That there. That should be good. Okay. Grab that, you know, throw that back in there, grab these two. We're going to attempt that again. I'm going to read the bigger backpack this time again. We're going to go back and reserve. I got the heavy one just in case. I need to grab some bandages. Okay. 
Let's try it again. Not a huge deal. Not a huge deal whatsoever. Actually, did I ever collect whatever I got? For mechanic? Good. Oh, it was 30,000. Yeah, I just grabbed the money just in case. All right, well, let's go back over to uh, reserve again. Okay. Ooh, right, we are nowhere near where we want to be. That is okay. We just have to make a little bit of a longer trip. I brought extra ammo, right? Okay, I did. I got a little worried there for a bit. I was like, oh, wait a minute now. Did I forget what I need? Oh, we're okay. Um. Oh, shoot. I did forget the R RBOP key. That's all right. You can save that. We got 40 uses out of it for the future, but for right now, we'll obviously we'll have to worry about it later on. Uh, since we got this spawn, I mean, it might as well go still the same direction we were doing before. We're going to head to medical spot first, see if we can find a sailor was, and then we will continue our adventure from here. I know there's a couple of medical things here, so we'll check it. Anything good for us? Nope. Check the grenade spot as well, and go from there. I don't know what it is. Uh, for me, like I was, I was thinking about this. I was like, what, you know, why don't I just go over to customs right away at the beginning? You know, start working on these tasks. Blah 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 blah. blah. But I don't know. I I think I prefer going to the other maps first before like diving deep into the customs because like you spend a lot of time on that map anyway. Ooh, TNT, nice. That's um. I, don't know, I just kind of felt like going to these other maps you don't normally see until like super later on in the in the game. These are all good spawns for things that you need, so you might as well check them if you can and have some fun doing it. This one's full, right? It's full. Okay, I did fill it fully. Okay. No attachments I need. PRS ammo. Suppressor. Pretty sure I need that for a Tarkov parts or Tarkov um, gun parts, I think. Or gun, not Tarkov. It's a gun gun parts like tat or something. That's for it's for an M4. I know that. So we need to probably hold on to that for a little bit. Because last time that we made that gun, I know we had a heck of a time finding it because like, it was never ever on the Lee market, so we had to find it ourselves. So we'll hold on to it for now. And see if we'll need it or not. Or we get lucky later on in the future and we just end up. That's unfortunate. <laughs> Moza man. Moza man got me. I didn't even hit him. LPS. Got me good there. He got me good. Well, I can think about some because I think that was the last of our gear. We can we have stuff that we can sell to make money. Ay ay ay! Did not see that coming. <laughs> that's okay. Not a big deal whatsoever. We didn't have the best armor anyway. That that uh, packet doesn't really hold up against anything, especially LPS. So I'll just eat right through it. Uh, we got the AKM still. We got one mag as well. So we have some BP rounds. So we got a gun. I just need to see what we can sell. I could sell that power bank. Sell power bank. That'd be these. I'm gonna hold on to the broken fountain, actually. Sell that. I need the gunpowder at some point, but I can sell it for right now. And before I accidentally sell these things, let me turn this one this one in. And I'm going to talk to Jaeger next. Turn the other one in as well. Uh, come up with an idea here. I don't have enough for both armor and also getting for rigs. So, although maybe I do. Let's see here. Could, could double up, but it's going to take 90% of the money. Like that. Yeah, we do actually have enough. We got enough money. We're not in that bad of a place. Take that, that. Although medical is kind of kind of worrying me. I could sell those guns. Sell both of these. Don't need them. 
two, 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 oh, two. I'm trying not to use the hemostat. That's kind of my, my plan at the moment. Use those only when we need it. Did I accidentally buy two of something else? I think I, yeah, I bought two splints. Actually, not a bad idea because I'm probably going to end up needing those. So my, my brain probably just like, hey, grab a splint, bro. You got to need it. You got to need it. Do it that way, like that. Take that off. Four, five, six. Okay. Uh, I don't think I can buy item yet. Can I buy this yet? Oh, shoot. I can. I need more money, though. Quick, panic. Everyone panic right now. Why are we all, why are we all just standing around not panicking? I need beef I can't sell that. Uh, sell that tablet for now. For now. Quickly, quickly, buy it. Does that mean actually Jaeger shotguns are available? No, it does not. Okay, we're gonna do that. That will work. That shall work right there. Um, I know it's a customs, but now that I have that scope and I can actually use it, we're gonna go back to woods. Uh, we're gonna go see about finding medical supplies over in woods again. See what else we can find. I think that's our best course of action. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Off to woods we go. Okay, so we spawned. The lever behind. Which was this? Car? Yes, right to the left. We're next to Scab House. Uh, for where we're at, I guess we can start heading over towards Yusek Camp. See if we can find anything over there, and also maybe some players. Get that turned on. And fall. Good, good, good. Let's make it happen. Let's get some stuff and get the heck out of here afterwards. And, uh, <laughs> you know, not get shot by a Moza man that has. I, I got a lot. Good shots on his part. Because he shot me the first time, second time I tried to get ready to aim, and he just blobbered me through that packet. So, GG, Mr. Man. You don't notice something. They take the fence down? Or am I just. Oh no, it's over here. I was about to say, did they already take the fence down from this map? It'd be very odd if they did. But no, no, they definitely didn't do that. It's just not, not quite up to that spot yet. Now I'm thinking. We need to hit the medical spawn up over at the USEC camp. If there's nothing there, we'll just start making our way all the way around while trying to kill some scavs and trying to find the shotguns. You know, they pretty much go from there. Good little cat. Obviously can't hold a lot, so if we can get a player killed, that'd be nice. Water filter there, don't need that anytime soon, and I don't have the space to hold it. I think this will go on? Yeah, 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 well. Wonder filter, already have that one examined. Okay, nothing else in here. Let's keep going. Keep on going. There is, I think it's the 314 or the 301 key that we can get over here at the checkpoint. But do I check that or do I go to the USAC camp? Probably go to USEC first, just to see if I can find the medical stuff, and then come back around to the checkpoint. I think this could be the better play. <laughs> Sherman's around, so we can say, uh, I think we're going to skirt skirt around Mr. Sherman. <laughs> hey, you know, we've done it before, though. First episode, I think it was season five, we ended up killing Sherman, and we also, I think it was Sherman and Rashala. We killed both of them. So... Hey, anything's possible. Anything is definitely possible when it comes to Tarko. Get lucky on a couple shots there, here and there. Boom, kill him, kill his guards, and move on. Yeah, it'd be kind of nutty getting a Red Rebel this early on if it were to happen. So I, I know it's a little more to my left, but I'm going to try to stay in between the trees in case someone is running this direction. I mean, 100% did not get the closest spawn to the USEC camp, so there's going to probably be players there or they're leaving. So, you got to be ready for that. just want to get myself access to more medical stuff because we are... The AI2s are just not going to cut it after a while.
I don't see anybody running down. Let's get across. Okay, all right, all right, we're good, we're good. Minefield is more to my left, so we got room to run. See anybody there? I do want to get on top of the rock first. Get on top of the rock and we'll just kind of scan the area first before we actually start looting. Although I do think anyone that goes for streaming right now is crazy, even though I think it'd be a fun idea to go for. Because it is definitely crazy trying to go for him this early on. He just smacks, smacks you through everything. Let's get on the rock. Go over to the top. No M4. Tragic. Actually, give me a TMO. Either something wasn't uh, showing up or I whiffed the shot, but the cross was definitely on top of his head when I shot the first time. Oh well, we made him go away. He said some looting already because there's stuff here and there. We dropped also some stuff in here as well. Ooh, you dropped that. That's actually a pretty uh, good item. Actually, that's not very good. Ooh, we got something. Got somebody shooting at him. Any medical stuff you miss, maybe? Grab the Vaseline. Obviously, there's oats right there, but. Hmm. I do have a chance still because he didn't get to the other side. So there's still a chance to get some stuff there. I can get a sail wall from that. Nice. Unload that. Do that. Oh, I need a bigger backpack immediately. <laughs> this is so bad to have big backpacks. A T pistol, TT. Need that ammo. Let's go check over here. Ooh, there's also a chance there could be the trooper armor too behind the tent. So we'll check that. Maybe we get lucky. No, it's not here. Oh, he was here. And he found a helmet too. No 
No medical. Yeah, he already looted all this. Okay. Tragic. Tragic, tragic indeed. Action SX. It's okay. Let's see if we can get any beef stew or something. That. We're to get one of those. I think if I had the flea market access, the, the tip that we just got for the AK would actually be very, very good. But. Knowing how long it's probably going to take us to get to that point. I don't see the point of actually grabbing it. Okay, so let's go to the checkpoint, see if we can kill any scabs there. And then we'll move on. Get this phone loaded up just in case, though. Stay here. Can't put the same thing in yet. But I think I can get a different grip for this and we can make it a lot better. I'm a little dumbfounded though how I didn't kill the guy. I think uh I think he was just hidden enough behind that tree that it it clipped. So it didn't allow the shot to go through, which uh, it's unfortunate. But let's hope there's some some scabs over at checkpoint and get the shotgun. It's kind of what I'm hoping for at this point. That and the key too. We can also check the. I think the doesn't the truck also have a chance for a key card? I swear that was another like purple key card spawn. Oh. Tragic, man. <laughs> head ears. Head ears. I know it's a 5.56. Five, five, yeah, 5.56 five, five, round. Oh, not, what I, not what I was expecting. Definitely not what I was expecting to happen. All right, we're going to give it one more attempt for today's episode and see what we can make happen. Uh, we should. Trying to see what would be the best course. I need to get me the medical and then also try to find ourselves maybe a gas analyzer if possible. So I think for now we're gonna go across the map where we go turn on the power to use the use the, the middle gate over by the construction area. And maybe we'll have a chance to find a stable over there. It's gonna be a weapon. Ooh, nice. Probably well, it doesn't even have a scope, so it's gonna be kind of useless to us. Let's see what we can get. Ooh, morphine. Okay, cool. Useful to us at least. Now there are players, obviously, they're gonna spawn across from us. We do have to be a little bit cautious about that. I need to make it over right there. Luckily, though, I have pretty much like the lightest stuff I can carry. I don't have any helmet because I couldn't afford it. I did sacrifice some of the stuff that I wanted to keep, um, but not a lot of things. Just a couple electronic parts that I don't normally see. I sold, but we'll, I'm sure we'll end up finding them anyway in the future. There's actually a chance for a save lot here. Wait for that scab to go. No, it's giving the key though. Oh wow, no, it's an AI one. What the? I kind of want to get my hands on that Mosin. What the heck? 
<laughs> what? But what the heck just happened? Where'd you go? Did you fall through the map or something? Oh, it's right there. I was like, wait a minute, what the? Let's go grab that. It's got scope on it. There, take that instead. Explosions everywhere. Okay. That turned on. Stick with the PP91 for now. Well, we're gonna head over now to see if we can get those medical medical supplies and maybe a sailor or two. That was really confusing. I never I don't think I've ever seen the sca the sniper scab actually come all the way down and go around. So that was a little shocking when I saw it move. I'm like, wait a minute now. Something doesn't seem right here. And yeah, and lo and behold, he moved. Over there. There's a jack here we can check. There's energy and everything. We're looking find an energy and stuff, but we'll drink it anyway, get the metabolism up. Oh. RBTB. I have a feeling this is going to be in like our season six, where all we found was a ton of keys for reserve. Which, don't get me wrong, I am completely okay with it because I love going to reserve anyway. But I just have that feeling. Gonna get armor here. Oh, it's just on the packet. We'll wear it though. It's got one more. Can of pot rod. Yeah. Mr. Mr. SKS or no, that's SVDS. Get out of here. We don't need you right now. Shooting at us like that. And knowing me, I wouldn't have a chance to kill him anyway. So we're not gonna worry about him. Or like I'll be able to kill him, but he's not gonna fall off the building. You know, I feel like there's like only certain part, parts of that building where he actually falls off, so we're not even gonna attempt that. Especially with this right now, and that's it. Eesh, I'm kind of worried. Like that. Five seven. No, thank you. Man, why couldn't you have the good stuff? Put it all in the backpack here, I just noticed that. Divide, divide, divide. Grab the knife. I noticed I didn't grab the knife last time. That was kind of weird. Right, so we check this room here. I got really excited there for a minute. I'm like, ooh, shotgun. I'm like, please let it be the shotgun we need. Nope. Happiness turned to sadness very quickly. <laughs> Which happens typically in Tarkov, right? Like supplies. Ooh, seal the wall. Nice. Okay. Uh, augmented, I can just grab to sell it. The bag. Alright, cool. That is a positive one right there. I'm just gonna grab this and put that there. Even if, you know, I just want to put that there for safekeeping. Grab the pineapple juice, we'll drink that in a second. No chain lid or anything back there. Got a gun again, maybe? Nope. Some parts. Grab that. 
pick up some pineapple juice. I'm gonna triple check that chair though, because I've missed some items before on this chair over here. Yeah, it's gonna triple check. I think that's everything. Uh, there we go. There's an ammo. All right, not bad so far. Okay, we're looking okay. That's what's nice in like about these these early rounds for us. Like it does, it's, it, it is unfortunate to lose the the items right away that you get like, from the first couple of raids, but like it's you can bounce back easily from the stuff. Uh, obviously, we have the rule where we don't use any of the. Um, the scabs into a little 10 for us, so you know that's another thing that we have to take into account. Like, okay, I gotta be able to somehow recover from this, I gotta come up with ways to recover from it, um, and just make it happen basically. It's just kind of how the game goes. I may sound frustrated, but you know what? It's part of the game. Death comes to all of us when it comes to Tarkov. Am I just that bad of aim right now? I am that bad of aim right now. Okay, one down. There's one more behind the truck, I'm pretty sure. Not the shotgun we need. Oh, that's the armor we need, though. Oh, I did. I forgot to say that. I mentioned that. I did uh, accept the the task for skier, so we got that going for us. I don't think I'm gonna grab that. Check all this. I almost wanted to. Yeah, I think I meant you could take this ammo. It's funny enough, PS ammo is not that hard or not that easy to come by. <laughs> so I'm gonna take it for right now. Taking things I normally wouldn't take, but if I need to switch over to like, um, like an MP5 or something, I've got some okay ammo. That's really need anything else beyond you. Now, we have got to get towards the exit, obviously. But I need to check out a couple other things. There's still the crack house. If it's a chance to find some stuff, so I'm going to check it. We're not looking too bad on the weight. We still can carry a good amount of stuff. Nothing underneath the giving tree. But it could be dangerous, so we're gonna try to do this. But we're gonna we're gonna do it anyway. Just gonna drink like max energy just to keep the energy going, get the metabolism flowing. I have a good feeling, like, depending on how far we get into this wipe, as far as, like, tasks go and whatnot, I still also want to spend, like, a good portion of time focused on, you know, fo focused on doing stuff on, oh, that's still behind us pretty far. I still want to spend, a, like, a good amount of my time focused on Streets of Tarkov. Because I want to learn a lot more of the map, I want to play a lot. Like, when Reserve came out, I played a ton of that. It was like, yeah, like, you obviously want to get working on the task level up as fast as you can to get access to better ammo and, and weapons and whatnot. But I spent a ton of time on reserve and learned a lot about it. And that's why reserve at some point 
became my favorite map. And I, you know, I, I feel like we need to do that as well with Streets of Tarkov. Because I'm sure there's a lot of potential of that map. I mean, every time I look at the map and I see what, what items that, that you can find, where you can go, it's like, yeah, I want to spend the majority of my time over there. Alright, so obviously they've already been here. But I'm going to check in anyway with the chance that maybe they, they forgot something. Yeah, they forgot an eye pack. Okay. Well, if you forgot that, what else did you forget? Open one of those guys would have had a helmet. clear. Check the little area over here. Maybe the chance that we're going to run to some sailors here. Unfortunately, I don't think it's going to happen. I should have checked the building behind real quick. So we're pretty much at the exit anyway. I'm gonna go check the the fortress behind us. That's the last medical area that I can. I mean, well, there's one across the way by Big Red, but that's a very slight chance I'm gonna find that. So I'm not gonna worry too much going that far because our exit's right there anyway, on the corner. So we'll check this and then we'll get out. Can't tell if it's a scab or a player. Sounds like a scab. Got him. Fibulator. Oh, okay. I did not actually mean to drop that, by the way. I, I want the AI to still. Okay, I don't see a Sailua. stuff on here actually okay 
Let me do this real quick. Need to load that up. Not what I was expecting to run into, but that's fine. Whoop. I have a desk popping lately. A lot of desk pops on accident. They're gonna be people coming because they know I'm here now. Nothing there. Come on. Hello. All right. So that seems. Oh, there's no. There is a medical one upstairs. I forgot all about the medical crate upstairs. Go check that real quick. I keep saying real quick. I'm like, I want to get out of here. When we got with the stuff I got, I'm like, oh wait, there's one more thing though. Back and check that other PP91. I think I had a scope on that. It was either a scope or just a flashlight. Yeah, it's all been checked already. Bandages and soap. Okay. Yeah. Better to check it than not check it. Flashlight. Oh. That's not what I meant to do. Get that back. That. I was literally just gonna drag the one to the other. <laughs> All right, cool. And we got a flashlight if we get in front of someone. Either way, let's get the heck out of the map. We've got more than enough stuff plus we secured another sail of one. And that means just we gotta get one more, then we can continue. Uh quite certain we've got all the morphine we need. We just we have all the morphine needed for that task. Pretty sure it's only three of them that you need for therapists. Unless it's changed since last wipe, which I'm quite certain it has it, so. Another thing that we've got for us. Now I will keep an eye out for the the screwdrivers, the regular like red screwdrivers, and also keep an eye out for far away. Regular screwdrivers and also the elite players. Because obviously if we can get those and we have another chance to get the 123 shotguns and not have to worry about killing like scavs or whatever. But until then, gotta keep looking. I'm see who's got the unknown key just to grab it. Nope, oh, someone already grabbed the key. They left a shotgun on you. No, they did not. All right, let's call it good and get the heck out. <laughs> and in the end, it all worked out just fine. With 4600 XP. Nice. Let's get the sail oil taken off of us. We can go and go to therapists. Just turn this one in. One more to go, and then we'll be just fine. And I think I have an idea what I want to go for next map or for next raid. Anyway, we can also turn that in too. Let's get all this stuff off of us. See, that's gonna cost a lot to repair. That's fine. I got some things I gotta sell anyway. But yeah, and we got a new key out of it. So this this is nice. It's all good stuff. Definitely, uh, definitely has some downs. We have some ups, but that's just how kind of Torque Up goes. So. I take it for what it is, and I had, I had a good time with that last raid at least because we came back, even though we lost a bunch of stuff, we came back to where we need to anyway. Got the three more fiends we need for the future upcoming task anyway, so we're looking at okay, so I think we're going to leave it at that. Honestly, that's pretty much all we're looking at. I only got to complete one of the tasks I want, really wanted to complete, but we got very, very close to finishing it with this one, so everything's looking good. Still on task where we want to be, and we've got some more action coming for the next episode anyway. 
So, with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, make sure you guys, if you haven't yet, make sure you hit the subscribe button, the notification bell. Make sure you hit that like button. Thumbs it up as high as you can because we're trying to go for like a thousand plus likes every single video. I think we can do it. The more and more we, we work on that together, <laughs> the more we can make it happen. So let's do that. Beyond that, next episode, today's Saturday. So the next episode will probably be out. Oh, I'm going to say Monday, if not tomorrow. If I'm feeling spicy, maybe I'll get one out before uh, before the, well, on the New Year Day. But it is New Year's Eve today, so I'm going to probably be spending it time with my wife with the ball drop and all that fun stuff. So most likely Monday you'll see the next episode. But either way, I will see you in the next one.